So what whole life insurance policy should you choose? Specifically, which product? Because there's a lot of life insurance companies and there's a lot of individual products that you can choose from when just looking at one company. And I'll say this, I can look at two different products with one life insurance company, they're both whole life insurance products, and one can generate a significantly higher return if I'm looking at the internal rate of return or just cash value growth than the other product. So one policy delivers more value than the other. But at the same time, I might, I might be able to only pay into that product that delivers more value for 10 years versus the other one that delivers less value well, I can pay into it for 30 years or maybe as long as I'd like. So how do I choose? The key word here, in my opinion, is awareness. I want to be aware of the top options available, which are often just two or three. This way, I don't have buyer's remorse. I don't find out after the fact there's a product that suited my situation much, much more, but it was never even brought up. Right? If I could see all of this in Amazon, I would have clicked on that button. So here are the items that are typically considered by individuals or what people express. Number one, I want to get the most out of my money. Specifically what that means, I want to maximize the internal rate of return if I'm looking at percentages or if I prefer dollars, I want to maximize the growth on my cash value. Meaning if I'm going to pay money into a whole life insurance policy, here's the dollar amount I'm going to pay and I want to put it into a policy that is going to give me the biggest dollar amount down the road. How do I get the most out of my money? That's the question and I can look at it in terms of rate or dollars. Here's another question. How long do you want to fund your policy? This is a really good one and I'll say this, it is okay if your answer is I don't know. That's common where someone wants to start a whole life insurance policy but they don't know how long they want to pay into it because they don't know what's going to happen in their life. They like the idea of maybe paying into it for 10 years, but might want to be able to stop earlier. Or they might want to continue to feed it forever, but man, what if things go south and they can't do it? Are they on the hook to make payments that long? That's typically why the answer is, I don't know when we, when we ask this question, how long do you want to fund your policy? Some good follow-up questions would be, how about five years? Do you like the idea of funding a policy for a short period of time? Call it five years or even less? Or do you think you might want to go longer? Okay, how about 10 years? 10 years or less, because you can go 10 years, but we can also show you how to stop earlier. But do you see yourself wanting to fund that policy longer than 10 years, 15 years, 30 years? You'll be 75 30 years from now. Do you see yourself wanting to continue to feed the policy? Questions like that can help us think and begin to narrow down our product selection, because you're going to see different products that allow one to fund the policy for a shorter or longer period of time. And generally what you'll see is a policy that allows you to fund a policy for a shorter period of time will give you the highest internal rate of return, meaning the highest growth percentage. Would you like flexibility? This one's always a yes. What that means is you having the ability to fund the policy for a shorter or longer period than you originally planned and also to adjust the amount. So I might have planned to fund a policy with $100,000 per year for 10 years. That's a total of 1 million. But then when I hit year two, things were slower. Am I locked into the 100K? No, I scaled it down to $20,000. Now the policy did not feel like a burden from a $100,000 annual commitment standpoint. I was committed to the minimum. And then if I want to stop, let's say in five years, I can also do that. So we want it flexible in terms of being able to adjust the amount we fund the policy with and also the number of years we pay into the policy. And you can adjust that often after starting a policy. So you don't have to feel like whatever option I pick, I'm locked into it. So with a whole life insurance policy, here's an important piece of technical information that will complement this question around the flexibility. You've got two main areas with a life insurance policy. You've got your premium. Here we've got our base premium and also term insurance rider. And this is typically fixed, meaning when we start a policy, this amount is not going to go up and it's very difficult to decrease. So with the two combined, that may be $10,000 per year. That's your fixed piece. So if one says, I want to be able to fund $100,000 per year, 
and their premium is fixed at $10,000, that would be their minimum commitment. Then we've got the paid up additions rider, their PUA rider. This is very flexible. Number one, this accelerates the cash value growth of a policy. When I add money here, I see 90 to 95% immediately show up in cash value. It's money I have, I have access to. It begins compounding. It also buys me more whole life insurance death benefit. This is the key to maximizing the cash value. But it's also very flexible. Depending on the company, it could be extremely flexible. Different companies have different rules and such. But it is very possible with a number of companies to set up a policy where I commit only to the premium and add more money to PUAs at discretion. Or I pay it at the same time as the base premium, but I adjust this every year. So if I plan to fund my policy one time per year, but I wanna be able to determine the amount, here's how much I'd like to add each year, it's adjustable. So if we make it flexible, the policy does not feel like a burden, which is very, very important. So when funding a policy, we'll stick with that $100,000 number because it's very round. If you look at that and say that's too high, you can take a zero off. If you look at it and say it's too low, you can add a zero and everything will be the same here. We're just adding or removing zeros. So let's assume an example here. I'm funding 100K per year and my minimum premium is $10,000 per year. I'm gonna rephrase this part in blue. I want the ability to fund $100,000 per year. I do not want to be locked into that. So what do I need to decide upfront? Well, when you first start your policy, you do need to decide how much you'd like to start the policy with on day one, meaning after you've applied, you're approved, you can start the policy, you do need to let the insurance company, by letting your agent know, here's the amount I'd like to start with. So if you said, hey, I've got 100K, I wanna start with this, 10,000 is applied to the base premium and term insurance rider. The rest, we dump into PUAs. So we decided that up front. Now, if your plan was to fund 100K per year and your illustration reads $100,000 per year for 10 years, because that's what you wanted to do, let's assume by year two, everything just goes south. You can't fund $100,000 per year. Because your illustration and contract has that 100,000 per year dollar amount in there, do you have to pay it? No, you don't. If it's set up with a low base premium, remember, that's the fixed piece, the premium. So if you need to reduce it to $20,000, can you do that? The answer is yes. We just scale it down to 20, of which 10,000 is still directed toward the premium and the rest toward PUAs. If we want to scale it back up the next year, we can do so. If it's 20K per year for another five years and then we wanna scale it back up, we can do so. If it's 20K per year for five years and then we say, I can't pay anything anymore, can I get away with that? Yes, you can. We can stop the premium payments, we can have the policy funded through dividends and interest, we can look at a reduced paid up, which eliminates the premium. There's options available there. Now, what if your plan was to fund the policy for 30 years? I want to fund 100K per year for the next 30 years, but then life happens and I want to stop after five years. So my plan was to get 100 times 30, $3 million in, and I want to stop after five years. Will that work? Yes, it will work. We're going to look at examples of that in our next video. So here's what we're going to look at specifically, different products. What we'll look at first is the different products, just a standalone video or we'll see a 10 pay policy, which means you can pay into it for a maximum of 10 years. But what's it look like if you don't pay 10 years? What about five years? What about only two years? That'll be interesting. Then we'll look at a 15 pay. We'll look at funding it for a maximum of 15 years, and then also only five years. And then a HECV, that stands for High Early Cash Value Policy. And we also have L85 here. What that represents, is the age we can make payments to. So until he's 85 years old. So we're starting for a 50 year old individual. We're not gonna fund until age 85, we could, but we're gonna stop it at 75, just because that's well through retirement. So again, what we'll look at are the different products standalone, so you can see exactly what is and is not possible and be aware of the different pros and cons to each product. And then we'll look at a comparison, which will be really, really interesting 
And what we'll do is look at all of them with the same company here. We'll look at one of the major mutual carriers. So I hope you enjoyed this video. The next several videos, we're going to look at comparisons. Please let us know your thoughts and if you have any questions. And as always, I hope this helps. Thanks so much. Hey guys, Steve here with IBC Global. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you're interested in a whole life insurance policy and you'd like to work with our company in setting it up, please visit our website, ibcglobalinc.com. We would love to work with you. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And as always, I hope this helps.